Hello and welcome to ABD Stadium for what promises to be a massive clash here. It's Hume City against Green Gully. Two sides in desperate need of a victory. We are underway at ABD Stadium. Hume City kicking off, going from left to right. Green Gully going from right to left in the green and white. It is a massive match here. Two sides in desperate need of a win. Played down the line. And it's Embarga on the ball, lost it. Now they get it back gully and they can maybe come through the middle, but intercepted and played down the line. The chance to come forward here for Hume. Down the left-hand side here and he's got space and Ingham's calling for it at the back post. That's where he goes. Ingham's got the ball and he scuffed the volley. Great chance there for Hume. They're weaving in and out of traffic there and He's done well for Gully. And the strike though, straight at the goalkeeper. And that's a good challenge. And the clip forward pass is good. Now it's Ingham on the outside. Can he cross? Whips it into the middle. Chats maybe, but the diving head up. Unable to connect in the middle. Corner whipped in towards the back post. Headed clear. Another chance maybe for Hume. And it's another corner. The rain really coming down here now at ABD Stadium. And the clip pass through. And Hegarty's done brilliantly there. Nick Hegarty sending it to Embarga. Chance to shoot. Brilliant save to wish up. And they play forward again. Nice little interchange of passing and then releasing Ingham who's got pace to burn. Can he keep it alive? He does and he clips it in and takes a deflection. Headed clear on his fire is Hegarty. And his volley had to be tipped over the bar while it was looping up and down. And the referee's given a cold kick. Well, interesting decision there. The gully coming forward again. Chance to maybe get a shot in, that's a foul. And a free kick given. Whipped in, poor ball. Still gully on it, the strike from long range. Oldfield had to get across and made a good save. Taken quickly. And chance maybe to get into the box, that's a foul. Ball whipped into the back post, that's a good cross. And the defender getting a crucial intervention there. Cross in towards the middle again. Not dealt with yet. Played back. Chance here. Deflection. Off the crossbar. And is it bundled over the line? No, it's a foul. Unbelievable. And Gully again. Oh, Karoma's giving away the ball. They can come forward here. Same pass to Hegarty. O'Dogan slides it through and Barker's in here and he scored. No! Well, it looked like for all money that he scored that. Great chance. Hegarty. Out to the left here and a chance to surge forward. It's a good pass there from Timmins and releasing Hume now. The chance, the ball to the middle, deflection across again, still on. And the centering ball not dealt with. Strike from long range. Well over the bar. Hegarty here has been the centre of everything. Can he have a strike? Releases it to the left. Real opportunity here now for Hume. Strike a goal. And just wide. Ingham. Free kick. The ball whipped in towards the back post. That's a good cross. Oh, another brilliant save to wish up. He's really kept his side in this contest at the minute. Oldfield hoofs it away. Intercepted, but only as far as Timmons, who plays it to Hegarty. And again, they hold possession. Good little exchange. Interception from Karoma. Not the best communication there. Now the ball is given as a corner. 
Ball whipped into the middle. Header on goal and it's in. Finally, Hume City take the lead and it's Sean Timmons. The left back getting forward. Ball was whipped in brilliantly there by Hegarty. And Timmins rose highest in the back post. It's squeezed under Dewisha. And into the back of the net here. 1-0 Hume City. Come forward again here on the right hand side. Chance to whip it in. Centering pass. Hegarty again. Lines up the shots. But puts it wide. So Lombarga. He's been a hassle all day and he wins the ball, centering it to Hegarty again. Cuts onto his left and Barger's on side here. Good save, Dawisha. Ball whipped in again. Towards the back stick. Oh, it's hit the crossbar. Timmons there. Can he get it back into the middle? He does, but couldn't keep it alive after a goal kick. And the flick on there into the middle. Can Gully find something? But it's hoofed away. And that is that here at ABD Stadium. Sean Timmons, 72nd minute head of the difference. Hume City securing a vital three points. 1-0 the final score at ABD Stadium. We're underway here at Kingston Heath. Playing to the centre. And the long range strike from Lucas, easily held by Gal. Support giveaway possession again. And Holmes now clipping a wonderful pass out to Lucas, who sends it to Thurtell. Chance there, easily saved though by Gal. Holmes again, another great pass outside, and Lucas. Getting down the line well and centering it. Chance maybe, cuts back. Strike block deflected across again. Still not cleared. Cries for a penalty not given. Ball into the middle. Cleared away. Maybe a chance to center it inside. Go! Well it happened just like that. Chris Lucas getting on the end of it. A fantastic pass there from Vizovic. And Lucas slides home for 1 0. Rizevic back to Holmes. Centering ball there. Lucas on the turn. Good save, Gal. Ibrahim. Centering ball. Oh, real chance, Port Melbourne. Rizevic in there again. The header on goal. Well, it's a wonderful save from Gal. They get forward here through Yalaz. Can he get the ball into the middle? Still Yalaz here. Inside, centering pass. But no one could get on the end of that. Bray gobbling that up with ease. It's in Holmes. Towards Lucas here. Who's done well, Thurtell. Back to Holmes. Easy save. Zinkini. Clipping the high ball outside. That's a good pass. And the chance to get it into the middle. Now Port. Rickson on the end of it. Still on here. It's Ibrahim now. Centers it towards the back post. The head is cleared away off the line by Topalovic. And it's a corner kick. So Matthews wins it back. And Megs Yalaz and then beats a second player too. And he's brought down. That's a free kick. The set piece here. Whipped into the back post. But unable to get to the end of it. Good chance here. Vizovic. Over the top to Thurtell. Flexion down and Vizovic. Wide. Well played forward. And McCormick, fresh off the bench, his first touch. One, two with Holmes, great work! Wow, what a stroke of masterwork there from John Anastasiadis. He brought Lee McCormick off the bench, his first involvement 
and he scored. Well, he's only been on the field a matter of moments. A wonderful little one-two with Holmes. And McCormick slots the ball, Pascal. Ball in from Riccobene. Cruceratus this time couldn't keep the volley down. Come forward here again. Good little one two. The rain comes down here. And Lucas now with a chance to cross. Holds it up, centering pass. Vizovic under pressure. Holmes outside, centering ball, or the strike rather. Work, great work from Rutherford again. And he's played it through. Good interception there. Still Bentley on the ball though. Centering pass to Thurtell. Can he get one? Saved by Gal. He's in the centering pass. That's it here at Kingston Heat Soccer Complex. Bentley Greens. Comfortable winners here. They were never really troubled by Port Melbourne. 2-0 the final score. Five minutes in. Coleman was set up after a chest down near the edge of the box, but his half volley was well wide. Seconds later, and Heidelberg were on the attack again. A dangerous cross from out wide picked out the man in the box, but Batur put the ball just behind for a corner. In the eighth minute, a dangerous McGarry free kick into the area just evaded a number of Knights men to the agony of the away support. After a quarter of an hour played, the Knights fashioned their first real chance of the match when Stipo Andriashevic opened up space for himself before hitting a low shot to the near post that forced a save from McMaster. From the subsequent corner, the Knights had a series of headers before Adrian Zara looped an effort over the crossbar. On the 19 minute mark, Marth's men had what was then their best opportunity of the match when a good cross from Marian Svitkovic picked out Andrew Barasic, but the striker put his headed chance over the target. Five minutes after that near goal, and the Burgers also went close, and also from a corner, when the set piece just cleared Chris May's crossbar. Not long after that chance, and the home side were forced into an early substitution when a limping Jamie Cumming was replaced by Jacob Williams, barely 26 minutes into the encounter. But the change didn't seem to deter the Burgers, with Daniel Heffernan bringing the best out of Chris May when he forced a save after a long-range strike. Just before the half-hour mark, and Andriashevich put another ball on target this time when he had no right to, showing great aerial strength to create the chance after Zara's cross, but it was no real match for the United Custodian. Andriashevich was the informed man for the Knights and was involved again moments later. After receiving the ball out wide, the forward showed great skill to evade Kanakaris to curl a strike towards goal, but a Stephen paced block on the edge of the six yard box kept the effort out. 33 minutes in, and Andreas Govas attempted an audacious effort from the halfway line, but the Knights shot stopper had it covered all the way. May was called upon for a more difficult stop seconds later though, after Heidelberg took back possession in the middle of the park. A good ball through from Shepard set up Heffernan inside the box, but the low strike was kept out by the keeper's feet. Ten minutes away from the half-time break, and another long-range bullet from Heidelberg required a save this time from Coleman, with May tapping the ball just over the frame of the goal. Five minutes later, and the Burgers went as close as you can to scoring when Ruben Way hit the base of the near post. May was required to block the follow-up effort seconds later, and it looked like he might have got a touch to the original strike from Way that hit the woodwork. But after all the squandered chances from both sides, it was Heidelberg that finally broke the deadlock in the 72nd minute when a fine cross picked out Kane Shepard, whose glancing header beat Chris May. That was
Joshua Shepard's fifth goal of the season and his third goal in three successive games after scoring against Gully and Oakley in the two previous fixtures. The Knights players piled forward in the dying embers of the match, but it was unfruitful with full time called after four and a half minutes of additional time. 1-0 it finished, with a catalogue of chances from both sides failing to find the back of the net. Tim Mahler opts to use Jawadi. Cross intended for Luic. Luic not happy with that service. Jawadi might net get another go. Decides to give the pass off. Milovanovic with the low shot straight at the keeper. South Melbourne building and trying to break down that Pascavale defence. Pumps that one high. Marla contests. Black and keeps it alive. Marla contests again. Puts that one up the line. Brennan can't reach. Consistency here. Now Nakic. Still going here, gets onto the left foot. The shot across the face and just wide of the upright. And a great chance there for Pascavale, not taken. I wonder if they might come to regret that one, John. All right so far, although that pass is regrettable. Jawadi chops it off, goes long forward. It'll come back to Theodore. Theodore now linking up. Lujic, Lujic on the turn with the shot dipping just over the bar. It was a lovely turn and shot there. Would have been Barkadesh. Looks inside to Milovanovic, goes back to the skipper, who might go long this time, he does. Ball deflects off, chance for Lujic, one on one, Milos Lujic gets the goal, South Melbourne 1-0. A deflection on the way through, the opportunity for Milos Lujic, and he just keeps on scoring. South Melbourne, they had the ascendancy for the last few minutes, and now they put it on the scoreboard, John. Milos Lujic has scored in each of South's last eight games now, David. A phenomenal return by the striker. That's uh, 10 goals in all 11 games in all competitions this year. Takes a deflection and he beats Nathan Megic to the ball. Great first touch as well before slotting it past Pavlidis and into the back of the net. Uh, we see the deflection there. Great first touch by Milos Lujic to set himself up. Beats Megic and also Pavlidis and slides it past the uh, advancing goalkeeper. Across him and into the back of the net for 1-0 as you see the fans there celebrating there. Fans are loving that one, John Carr, and South Melbourne at Pavlidis. And South Melbourne look to get something going in the driving rain. Barkadesh. Barkadesh loses his footing, but gets the ball to Jawadi. Might get it back. Jawadi goes for the cross. Chance for Brennan with the shot. Well, a great attempt there. Pavlidis, a great save. Lovely bit of football all round, John. Nearly goal of the year. Is that all right, David? Lovely football all round. That's a nice cross by Jawadi on the far side. Brennan with the scissor kick. Would have been an amazing goal if that had gone in, but Pavlidis makes a very good save uh, to deny South their second goal of the evening. As you see, nice cross. Brennan off the volley. That's an excellent shot. Gets it on target, but Pavlidis smarter makes the block. Lujic won't be able to reach that one, unfortunately, but it might sit up for Milovanovic! And Dane Milovanovic with an absolute corker, and he was just inches away there, John. Well, Lujic's goal was excellent, David, but surely that would have been the goal of the night, and dare I say, one of the goals of the season. I think that's just gone wide. I'm looking forward to seeing the angle from behind the goals. Look at that. That's beating the keeper all ends up there, but unfortunately it's just gone wide of the far post, too. Look at this for an angle, David, and we'll see it perfectly. The swerve there, and it just goes wide of the far post with Pavlidis. Is beaten. The last roll of the dice maybe for Pascavale. The free kick floated in, but floated over the bar. Raganovic watches that one sailing over without any harm. Pavlidis pumps that one high, looking desperately for something, but it's not to come. Milovanovic beats it away, and South Melbourne have a deserved 1-0 win. Tough game in tough conditions, John, and an all-important three points. They'll be delighted with that one. Well, as we predict in pre-game, David, Pascal Bell was always going to be resilient and difficult opponents to break down. We won here only 1-0 last year, and we did the same thing tonight. I think we're worthy of the win overall, and as the fans cut the players as they go down the tunnel, South continue their 100% winning record here at home at Lakeside Stadium in 2015. Into the middle, header on goal, and it's in! Center it inside, goal! McCormick, fresh off the bench, his first touch. 1-2 with Holmes, great work! Wow, what a stroke of masterwork there! Might get it back, Jawadi goes for the cross, chance for Brennan with the shot! Chance for Lujic, one on one, Milos Lujic gets the goal, South Melbourne 1-0. A deflection on the way through, the opportunity for Milos Lujic, and he just keeps on scoring. South Melbourne, they had the ascendancy for the last few minutes, and now they put it on the scoreboard, John.